Hey yogis, thanks so much for joining me here on your mats today for this feel good flow yoga class. So we'll go ahead and get started at the top of your mat, standing with feet hip width distance apart, grounding down through the soles of your feet as you allow the shoulders to relax down the back and shine the palms forward. Coming to your mountain pose here, just beginning to ground into your body and then grounding into your breath. Inhale to lift the arms up, exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, press the hands into your shins, flat back. And exhale, plant both hands on the mat as you step both feet back, coming into your plank. You can always lower the knees here. Then inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down to a hover. And inhale, lift the chest forward, untuck the toes, find upward facing dog. Then exhale into downward facing dog, sending the hips high and pedaling out through the feet. And inhale, look to the top of your mat and step both feet to meet at the top. And bending into both knees, coming into your chair, inhale to reach the arms high as you sink the hips down into your seat, Utkatasana. Exhale to release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant both hands and step just the left foot back grounding down through the left heel at a 45 degree angle, coming into warrior one. So both hips are still facing forward. As you inhale, lift both arms high. Finding your center here. And exhale, bring hands to your hips. You might wanna walk that back foot in just a little bit so that you can straighten through the right knee. Then exhale, fold over the right leg, coming into your pyramid. Breathing here, placing the hands wherever is comfortable. So either along the leg or down beside the foot. And inhale, halfway lift, pressing both hands into your shin here in your pyramid. Then shift forward onto the ball of the left foot, stacking the right knee on top of the right ankle. And begin to float that left foot up in the air. So coming into kind of a supported warrior three here. Stay here, or if it feels comfortable, you can lower the right fingertips down towards the mat and reach the left fingers up towards the sky, opening the chest and the hips towards the left for a half moon pose. Finding stability here, remembering to breathe. And going straight to warrior two, set the left foot back parallel to the back edge of your mat, bringing the arms parallel to the floor, gazing over the front fingertips. straightening through the front knee inhale to reverse your triangle pose reaching up and back with the right hand and exhale come back through center reach the right hand forward and then lower into triangle so bring the right hand down to the right shin and reach the left hand high exhale slowly release both hands to frame the foot Step the right foot back and find your vinyasa flow. So inhale forward, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale downward facing dog. Moving through that little flow on the second side whenever you're ready. Inhale, look between the hands, and exhale, step or hop, both feet there. Big toes touching, heels apart. And inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips low, bend in the knees as you lift the arms, find chair. Breathing here. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant both hands. Step just the right foot back this time, grounding down through the right heel at a 45 degree angle. Both hips face forward as you lift arms up into warrior one. Arms reaching up and overhead, facing forward. And release hands to your hips. You can walk that right heel in a little bit, moving into pyramid. Hands can come somewhere along the left leg as you fold forward. Trying to think about pulling the right hip forward and left hip back if you don't feel any sensation here. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to your shin. Shift onto the ball of the right foot as you slowly hover the right foot up 
into the sky, finding a modified warrior three with the hands on the left shin. And stay there or release left fingers down, reach the right hand up as you open the entire body towards the right for half moon on the second side. And lower the right foot back to the back of your mat, warrior two. So front heel intersects the back arch, gaze is over the front fingertips. Finding some stability and strength here. And straighten through the left knee and reach the left hand up and back, revolved triangle. And exhale, lower into full triangle. So left hand comes down along the left shin, right hand reaches up chest is open, shoulders are stacked, breath is strong. Exhale to release both hands to the mat, step back and take one last vinyasa flow if you want. Inhale forward, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale downward facing dog. And from down dog, let the knees come down to the mat, shift both feet off to one side as you lower down into a seat, extending both legs out long in front of you, removing the flesh underneath the sits bones so you can sit up nice and tall. As you inhale, reach the hands high, and exhale, fold gently over both legs. You can keep a bend in the knees if you need to, and try to let the upper body relax. Inhale, slowly roll back up, and exhale, roll all the way down onto your back, hugging both knees in towards the chest. You can rock from side to side here a bit. Then placing one hand on each knee, you're going to think about coming into a reclined child's pose. So drawing the knees out towards either side, thinking about drawing the knees down to the matching shoulders, and just bringing the big toes to touch, letting the hips relax. Keeping the right knee hugged in, you can send the left leg long on your mat. Just coming into a wind removing pose, breathing into the hips, before taking the right leg across the body, coming into a reclined spinal twist. So right hand can extend out by your side as the right knee crosses over towards the left. Again, just taking the twist that's easiest for you to breathe into, prioritizing your breath here. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and come back through center, hug both knees into that reclined child's pose. Then keep the left knee hugged in and send the right leg long, wind removing pose on the second side. And as you're ready, the left knee can twist off towards the right side as you extend the left arm out long by your side, taking the reclined twist on the second side. Slowly recenter the hips, bring both knees in towards the chest, and maybe curl the forehead up towards the knees. Give yourself a little hug here before releasing everything out long on your mat, relaxing the entire body, and coming into your Shavasana. Just giving yourself these last few moments here on your mat to tune into your breath and notice how you're feeling after today's practice. Not thinking, just tuning in to what you feel. Slowly bringing some movement back into the hands and to the feet. You can inhale to extend both arms up and overhead before bending into both knees and rolling over onto one side. 
and keeping your eyes closed here, you can slowly press yourself up into a comfy seat, whatever that looks like for you. Just placing the hands either on the knees or bring both hands to heart center. And we'll take three final grounding breaths together in three, two, one. Slowly tuck the chin in towards the chest and blink the eyes back open. I thank you all for joining me here on your mats today for this feel good flow. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling after today's class. I would love to hear it. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe down below. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye guys.